Okay, so I have a stop bead on my thread and I picked up, a, okay, I have my stop bead here. I picked up a 15-0 and then I went in through a hole of my ring. Once I'm coming out in the inside of my ring, you are going to put on your thread a two millimeter crystal, an 11 0 and another two millimeter crystal. And you want to make sure that while you do this, that you're always on the same side. Um, like when you go back in, you don't want to twist your thread around it. So here I am. Here I am. See that hole where I'm coming out of? The one next to it, we're going to skip. And we're going to go into the next one. So that's how you're going to do this all the way around. When you're coming out in the inside and you go back up, you're going to skip the hole right next to it and then go, and go into the one after that. Once you're coming out of your ring, pick up another 15 -0. Let it drop, and then you're going to go in through that same hole. Just skip the 15 0. If you go in through the 15 0, it's not going to work. Skip the 15 0, and I almost went through it. Skip your 15 0. I usually, when I work, I'm used to having my piece right up close to me, so it's a little bit harder for me like this. Let me brighten this up a little bit. Okay. Here's my 15 -0. I'm going to just move, move it out of the way and go down through that same hole. You also need to catch your crystal and not get tangled anywhere on your table. And then if you have to, give it a little pull and my thread bead, my thread need, my thread, my tail thread <laughs> got caught in there. I can't talk today. <laughs> All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Coming out of there. 11 up. Two millimeter. Skipping the next hole. Go into the next one after that. Then 15 0. Let it drop. And then kind of like move it out of the way. Go back down the same hole and out through your crystal, just like that. So do this all the way around and when you get close to the end I will meet you all right I will be back okay so I'm at I'm at my last little opening here and I'm coming out of my crystal and the space is too small for another crystal so I'm only going to add an 11 0 and then just like before I'm going to oh wait I'm going to um, well not like before I'm going to pick up my 11 note and then I'm going to connect to the first um, crystal that we started with and then I'm going to go up that hole there and I am not going to tie um, I'm not going to go, <laughs> go through that 15 0 after it okay I just went through the hole and then you, as you can see, here's my little stop bead. And I'm actually going to remove that. And, well, I'm going to remove my little 15 0 for now. And then I'm going to tie a knot because later on it's going to be harder to meet up with this thread and tie a knot. So I'm actually gonna do it right now. Okay, and then I'll just put my 15-0 back. Whoops, get my 15-0. And I'll just put it back 
and go down that same hole. Oops. And I need to move my knot out of the way. I'm going to go down that same hole and come out of this crystal. And then I'm just going to follow a thread path. Well, what I'm going to do now is go through this 11 -0 here. Ooh. And then from here, I am going to start adding 15 O's all around. And it's pretty simple. From one 11 0 to the next, adding a 15 0. So add your 15 O's all the way around. Now, when you come to the end, you might have a little bit more room. And if you need, use your judgment. If you need to put more than one 15 out at the very end, I think I did that here. Mm, I know I did it with one. Um, but use your own judgment. If you need, if you have too much space, when you get to the very end, um, then add two. It, but if it looks fine, then just add one in that space. So getting my thread tangled up everywhere today. All right, so all I'm doing is connecting these 11 O's by putting one 15 O in between them. So go ahead, do that all the way around, and then we are going to add our little coin bead. So I will meet you back. Okay, I already finished adding all of my 15 O's, connecting my 11 O's by adding the 15 O's in between them. And um, as I said, if there is, if there looks like there's too much space between, in the last gap um, between the 11 O's, add two. And that's what I did. I did add two. Okay, so now um, also you need to be coming out of an 11 0. So I'm coming out of this one here. And I chose it because um, when we were adding our crystals, you know how the very last one, there's a little bit more of a wider gap. But, you know, you, you don't notice it. Once you're done with the whole piece, you don't even notice it. Kind of like in this one. You don't notice it, right? Okay. Same thing with this one. But either way, that little gap I put to the bottom. So I sewed all the way um, across from it, pretty much. And I'm coming out of an 11 0. Come out of an 11 0. Now we're just going to get our coin bead. Put it on your th thread like this. Put it on your thread. And then go to the 11 0 um, across from it. And where in the world am I coming out of? Okay, here we go. And so that 11-0 will be this one. So I just want to come out of it. And looks like my needle wants to come out through the back. That's fine. Okay. So just get your coin bead situated. Now, I'm coming out of my coin bead, coming out of it, go back up, I mean, coming out of my 11, I'll go back up the coin bead, and then go through that same 11 0 that you started in the opposite direction. And go ahead and go through everything one more time so that you can get your coin bead there um, you don't want just one thread. You just, you know, you want to make sure that it's secure. So I'm just going through everything one more time. And, okay, just making sure I'm coming out 
of that eleven o. Yes, I am going back up the coin bead, and these are really pretty beads. I really like these, and um. Now I want to make sure that I go in through my 11-0 the correct way. All right, so once you do that, just go through as many beads as you need to. And um, get, as long as you're coming out of an 11-0, that way you can go from your 11-0 up the crystal and up the hole. Now here, I'm going to connect all of those 15 O's together by adding a three millimeter bead in between them. And I'm going to use this pack. And this came in one of my Potomac boxes. And another reason I love those boxes because you get so much stuff. Okay, so, and I love having all this extra stuff for my stash. So I'm gonna just drop all of these hopefully out into the floor and then this is an easy part because we're just going to go from 15 o, from 15 o to 15 o okay so go through your 15 o from 15 o to 15 o adding a three, a three millimeter bead in between each one so that's what we're doing coming out of my 15 o picking up another three millimeter bead and going through my next 15 0 in line. So do this all the way around, adding all of them, okay? And then I will meet you back. Okay, now let's get ready for another easy step. I've already added all of my three millimeter beads, and I'm coming out of a three millimeter bead. <laughs> that sounded weird. And I'm just going to cut this. Okay, now I'm coming out of a three millimeter bead. From here, we're going to add 15 O's again, connecting each um, three millimeter bead with one in the middle. So here I am, gonna go to my next one. And again, and so this is all this part is. Just adding another round of 15 O's in between your three millimeter beads that we have just added. So we that is all we're doing on this round. So go ahead and do that and then I will, whoops, I will show you what to do after that. Okay, so I added all of my 15 O's in between my um, three millimeter beads. And now I'm coming out of a 15 O from that round that I just did. And now we're going to connect um, my silver lined 15 O's together, adding five more 15 O's in between those. And I'm going back to my bronze for this step. So it's going to be five bronze 15 O's. Let me make sure I have five, four, five. And then, like I said, we're skipping over the three millimeter bead, going into the next 15 O bead from my previous step. So we're adding little points in between um, like that. So coming out of this 15 O from my previous, going in through my next one in line and pull so this is what we're getting and th these are going to look really really weird but our next step is going to fix those okay so go ahead and do that all the way around and I will show you what to do after that okay I went ahead and I did a few of these because um, I just wanted to make sure that I got my design right. But okay, after you add your five 15 O's, um, connecting these 15 O's that are in between the three millimeters together, and you've just added these on the side, go ahead and go through 
um, two, because you've already gone in through your last uh, 15-0 here, right? Because you've, add, you've added your last grouping. So you're in this 15-0. Go up two, and I'm going to go ahead and do it also. Go up two, skip this one, the middle one, and then go down two. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make that middle bead stick up into a point. Okay? So go ahead and do that. Do that. And, uh, okay. And um, just pull tight. Pull tight. And that will make the middle bead pop out. And then, once you're coming out, of these two here, skip this 15-0 from your previous, which in my case is the silver line. Skip that and then just go up through the two bronze beads here, the two of your grouping of five. Again, skip this middle bead here and then go down these two here. Now, if you have trouble making this one pop out, before you pull tight, you can go ahead and just put your needle through that middle bead like that, and then pull the string, and then take out your needle. And there you go. You have your little pico there. All right? And then, when you're coming out of those two on the bottom, I mean those two after it, Skip over the 15-0 from your previous step and just go up two on the next grouping and do that again. And if you notice on here, these are already kind of upright. Um, so just go through these two and on the side like that. Skip over the middle bead and then go down the two after it. Just flipping my piece over. Go down these two, and I hope I'm in frame. No, I'm not. Go down these two, and I'm just going to pull my string, and there we go. My point. So I'm just going to continue doing that all the way around. And then after that, we will add our wire guard. Okay, so I already did all my little points here. And what I'm doing now is I just sewed through to till I got to the middle point here. And I'm coming out of the very top bead. And this is where I'm going to add. I would have added a wire guard, but I seem to be out. But that's okay. I can just do a little bail with my 15 -0 beads. Um, I'm choosing to hang mine this way, but you don't have to, it's a dragonfly. So you can do it like that with your little bail coming out of here or here or even down that way. Um, I'm just going to do mine like this. So I'm just going to add some 15-0 beads until I think I have enough to make a decent sized loop. and. I'm not counting them, I'm just adding them. And like I said, I'm coming out of this little point here. I'm just going to go back. And mm, that may be a little bit too big. So I'm just going to back out and maybe remove about, oh, I don't know, maybe three. Maybe three of them. I don't want it too big. Okay, so going back. And <laughs> that's fine. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And I'm going to reinforce by going through all of my little 15 O's. Just like that.
And since I went through my 15 O's on the other side of that bead, I will go ahead and go through everything here one more time. And just like that. And now from here, I'm just going to go through this 15-0 in the middle again. And then I'm just going to go down. Oh wow, that's kind of tight. And I still made it through, it didn't break. And then I'm just going to go down here. Down this side. Everything is getting kind of snug, but that's fine. You should still be able to go down through that. So there's my loop. And you see how your little points look? See, so that is a really nice touch. So coming down, and I'm here, I'm just going to grab this little bridge thread here, and I'm just gonna tie a knot. And I'm not gonna go crazy tying knots because everything on here is really snug. Nothing is going to become, nothing is going to come undone. So I'm just going to sew up through these two and I can do one more little knot here, right here. Well, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I kind of messed up my point a little bit, but that's fine. And then I'm just going to go down these two. Oh, my point is fine. And I am going to burn my thread because I am done. And this is what you should have. And all I'm going to do is I have my leather ready. So it's going to look like this. Of course, I'm going to add a jump ring there. So, but something like that. So this is what we got. This is our little dragonfly coin pendant. And it really doesn't have a front or a back. I mean, I'm sorry, it really doesn't have a back because both sides look the same. So if it flips, you know, that, that's no problem. It looks nice on both sides. So this is what you should have. You should have something similar to this. This is another one that I made. Um, so pretty simple project, really easy, really pretty, beautiful, beautiful outcome. Um, I hope you enjoyed making this and thank you very much for watching.